driving school. Hello and welcome to Oh When the Town. And tonight, I'm joined by Batara on my left, Dave's on my right. Evening, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Both right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, ecstatic. What a week, boys. What, what a week. week. End of the season, oh, that was. Love life. Fantastic. I haven't stopped grinning. I haven't seen I haven't stopped grinning. It's fantastic. Absolutely perfect. The best thing about all of this in the end is it looked quite comfortable. We finished 19th Ooh. in the table. You it's would have snapped someone's hand off for that before the season started. Well, I'd probably call him an idiot. Well, say not before the season started, but, you know, a couple of weeks going and finishing. Oh, fucking mate, unbelievable. I can't, oh, I'm speechless, I can't say. Just crack on, boys. It's that good. You, did, you didn't feel quite comfortable on the diet on the night, though, did it? No. Nah. Not to start with. No, not especially but, you uh, can see that second one as well. Terrifying. Nervy, yeah. weren't it? Uh, shocker, mate. But in the end, it just turned out to be a fantastic night. And Nathan Jones... For me, has fully redeemed everything in the past. I, I, I think you can't still hold a grudge against the man, but... No, Batara, come on. Listen up. You can't, really. You can't. He's done a wonderful job to keep us in the division. There's just something about him, in there, Nathan Jones, with Luton. Just something about him. Well, yeah, let's hope he keeps going for many years to come, like he says, though, eh? Because we don't want it to stop now, do we? We want to continue this journey. To Oz or wherever we're going, this is fantastic. If he, if he do, let's, let's not start on the negative, but if he, do, he was to go in the future, he'd do it the correct way. Either way, like I said, let's not start negative. Let's look at some three word reviews after the Blackburn 3 2 win. Simon says, the greatest escape. Wilco says, never give up. Justin said, over the moon. Richard, what a roller coaster. Mm. Jez says, love my cub. Um, John says, I love football. Ed says, all is forgiven. And Thomas says, it's tattoo time. <laughs> hey. I think. I have seen so many comments from people who I've never seen comment on the podcast. So, like, thank <laughs> you for commenting. Um, where's your, where's your tattoo, mate? mate? When's it coming? Update well, us on your tattoo. Uh, look, What's going on? So, firstly, I need to find a, a correct image that is suitable for my chest, you know, because it's a bit on the rather than the large side. So, here's a proposal. <laughs> I will design four images... Or oh, we just do a portrait of a. Uh, hey, listen Nathan to the Jones professional. Patara, I'll design four feet. images. Hey, me, mate. Yeah. We'll put them on to Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and yeah. we'll, let, we'll let the listeners vote. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do. Uh, we'll, obviously, I've got to be in control of some of the you know images selected because yeah, I don't yeah, want yeah. fucking stupid ones going on. <laughs> it's fine. Well, I thought I'd put a good one up on. Maybe uh, a cartoon Wednesday. one might be good. A cartoon with a big head of fucking Nathan Jones, whatever, like that, and a small body. That might be a good one. Mate, you do realise, you do realise that if you get this tattoo and we're in a game, people are going to come and want to come see yeah, it to prove fine. it's true. That's fine. Hopefully by then I am put on about six stones, so yeah. yeah. Cause at the moment it's getting that way. But no, like I said, um, with tattoos and whatever else, I hope that it'll be done by sort of, you know, a new season, I'm hoping. But if not, obviously it might be a back date on... Uh, we'll find a way. We're gonna, we are going to see if we can get it crowdfunded, which would be a help but we need to figure out costs we need to do everything that. yeah that means going to be a fucking so, big one though isn't it socials <laughs> oh and the town we'll keep you updated on that and um, we look forward to it. that'll be that makes some great content mate oh, I, can't, I look forward to it well let's look at the Blackburn game then um, what was it like three four days ago now oh it was just one of them nights where I think what you woke up in the morning and you were quite nervous for the whole day were you nervous mate <laughs> was I nervous mate? of course I was my intestines were half hanging out of course they were. <laughs> of course I was nervous. We was all nervous, mate. If anyone did, woke up on that Wednesday, it was Wednesday, yeah, on a Wednesday morning and was not nervous, then you need your fucking head checking because that was tense stuff. I, it was not nice to go I through. generally wasn't overly nervous until the game started. I was excited because yeah. I felt we could I felt we could do it. You kept saying it to me, Dave. I yeah, said that really now. <laughs> no, I, that was true. I felt we could do it. However, when the game started, uh, no, it went out the window. Yeah, nerves, yeah. nerves, big played a part. I don't know. <laughs> it would have been better to be there, wouldn't it? Oh, imagine, It'd be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. But I say, maybe nerves might have got some a bit more. We never know. It's always an ifs and buts. But what a day! I started feeling nervous when I saw him coming out the tunnel, and I was like, "Wow, this is it!" And then when we go one nil down, you just you just feel yeah, feeling the worst, yeah. fearing the worst, then, aren't you? And you just think all of that build up to go one nil down, and the way we did as well. It was just poor defending, wasn't it? But yeah, I went and done a ritual. I went and sat in the toilet for about two minutes, just like pretty much getting my anger out and there. Yeah. The silence, the silence in here when the goal went in was definitely the silence yeah. in the stadium as well. Yeah, it was just. But you couldn't hear any Blackburn nothing. staff or anyone. It was just like it went in. It was like, oh. To be honest, I didn't, I didn't quite believe it at first went in. I was like, nah, I couldn't have gone. It surely. wasn't the start. I mean, it wasn't the start we looked for or wanted. 
Well, no, because I think it was Elliot Lee in about the first, first 38, 40 seconds, something like that. I Had think he missed chance. an absolute sit, didn't absolute he? Absolute great chance, yeah. I don't know if it was a sit. I mean, I might have just been like pumped up and whatever else, ready for whatever, but... It was, a good, like it was a, a good, it yeah, was yeah. a good chance. One of those you, you wouldn't post, be surprised yeah. if he scored. Take a touch yeah. and hit it, but you know, then Marin ended it. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love the way in the build-up to the game, Christian Walton obviously spent some time at Luton and was saying, uh, "We're not going to be doing Luton any favours." Hmm. And then they go score two, two own goals. goals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. Which is good, isn't it? Oh, um, nice class. That's what we need, though. I feel like them two own goals you could maybe say have made up for some of the bad luck we've had yeah. this season. I know you say you don't believe in luck, but Tara, mm-hmm. but we, you know, we've Swings had... Swings around about so, aren't yeah. I know what you're saying. Yeah. Payback exactly. almost, yeah. yeah. For, yeah. Those, for those bits that didn't go our way. Yeah. Whereas well, you think like Charlton away when Cornick puts us 2-1 up or Colin mm. puts us 2-1 up, sorry, and that's given offside when it looks clearly on. Well, yeah, I mean, I was talking to my dad earlier, I was saying to him, I was like, imagine all the times that we've, you know, had like so many shots and goals we've not finished. Yeah. yeah, and you sit there and you go, you ruin your mistakes and your errors and whatever else, and you haven't scored a goal. You think, oh, for fuck's sake, it's typical. We're going to go down. We're going to go down. Next minute, I'm in Preston game, one shot on target, scored one goal. I can equalise. Got us a point, a vital point in the end. Yeah. We look yeah. back on things like that. I mean, obviously Wednesday as well, two own goals, one shot on target, which I think we believe was the penalty. Was that it? And you look at things like that. And you think we won the game there as well. We got points again. I just think that's so Luton. That is so typical of Luton. But do you know what? If we can keep doing that every single season and doing what we're doing and still doing alright, I take that. I don't care how it goes in or whatever. Sounds a bit wrong. Oh, it was good though, wasn't it? Them, them two own goals, uh, I just like to feel like we've deserved a bit of fortune like that. To be yeah, the spin on that ball for the first one, for the header, was unreal. Yeah. I mean, it looked like it was going wide, hit the floor and bounced in. Uh, such a, a, a big turn of the, of the ball there. And why not? We deserve a bit of luck. Yeah, exactly. Why not? Of course we do. I mean, it's always going against us, isn't it? Usually, yeah. so we'll take that. Literally deserve but, uh, some luck. Oh, mate, I'm fucking loving that. I just, it's buzzing. It's actually great sitting here just talking so, like, relaxed. freely. Yeah, relaxed. You don't have yeah. to worry about anything anymore. Well, but, not until September. Uh, yeah, maybe that. we should, or maybe I should, like, hold my hand up and say, we got it wrong on the podcast, I got it wrong on the podcast. You know, we, I've sat there after numerous games this season and I've gone, I think that's it. I think yeah. that's it. But I think a lot of Luton fans did. Like, to be honest, <laughs> after that Barnsley draw, I, I, I honestly it? couldn't see a way back after nah, that Barnsley I mean, draw. I, yeah, I, well, for me, it was a QPR game, like I said, but obviously, like I said, that's one spot. I think I was your inspiration, Gregory, mate. I think I was your, you know, come to me and go, keep your head up. I'll keep your head up, mate, above water a little bit. And it did. Because sometimes you sit there and moan at me and I was like, Gregory, just shut up. <laughs> We're not out of this yet. Dave, you know about this as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, sitting there going, no, nah, it's not over, it's not over. And a negative, like sometimes I'm thinking... Oh in the moments during the game or after a game where you haven't played so well, then you sit there and you reflect and you, you, you fear the worst. And then you, the next game comes around and you hope for the best. Yeah. That's how you go, isn't it? And if you, you would have said to Luton and Barnsley fans after we drew one all of each other, that would both stay up, you would, you would not have believed it. Well, I would love, no. to, I'd love to have seen the odds back then. If anyone knows the odds back then, can they please let us know? Because I, I really want to know. With Luton and Barnsley staying yeah, up. staying up after that. Cause be but our form post-lockdown was really good. Yeah. Yeah. Save for one, one, one match. Pitch. Yeah, one, one match, pitch, yeah. which we were awful in. That's close. And, you know, who would have thought we'd have gone to Leeds United and got a point? Genuinely. <laughs> Isn't it also mad, going back to that Barnsley game, that on the night, everyone's going, a point doesn't suit either side? Yeah, yeah in the end, it's that point mm-hmm. that kept us both up. Yeah. Crazy, isn't it? Crazy, crazy, crazy football, man. It's crazy. Well, I just need to correct you there. We, we finished more than one point above um, relegation, didn't we? Did yeah, but I think from Bar- Barnes' yeah. point of view, though, I think it was a good point for them, wasn't it? But yeah, good, I don't yeah, say, yeah. Good, yeah, good point for them. Come on. Though. I thought it was a bit nice going, yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I mean, <laughs> I'm not for stats right now. I've been drinking all week, it's fine. Well, if we go back to the Blackburn game, talk about our third goal, the penalty. Um, Cornick did so well. I would like to say, because I don't know if anyone noticed who <coughs> played the ball to Cornick, and what a great <laughs> pass it was from Pelly Rudder and Panzu. Oh, is that, is that the same time you went, oh, fucking one dimensional Cornick, here we go? <laughs> and next week he scored a pen- uh, he's Winning a penalty. He won a penalty. Oh, I love Cornick, man. Yeah, I love him. Yeah, you love know, him. Just no, a bit bad. It was, it? it was a good like, pass. Yeah, it was like, a very good yeah, pass. It was. was. It you was. know, it, it would lead to an opportunity. But the fact that you really turned around with one dimensional corner, I just went, one dimensional corner, mate. You just fucking wipe <laughs> What are you going to say about that? Yeah. That's not like a criticism. It's just, it's just, it's just a fact. He do not need a, a skill, mate. He's that direct. He's more direct than the fucking yeah. dart in the board. That's how good he is. He did well, though, to win that penalty. And then Colo stepped up. 
And I think in my head, I was thinking that I'd no doubt that it was going to hit the net. Although well, he did slip. Yeah, he I did slip, and that's one of the moments where you go, whoa. Yeah. yeah, to be honest, I was so far away from my eyes on that bad. I didn't really see the slip or anything at the time. I just remember just sitting there just thinking, shit, let me just celebrate this goes in. Because I think Steve was old me at this point. I think I was about to turn yeah. around and give him a white up, give him this. <laughs> 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 why are you old me? Why are you old me? Get off, Steve. No, I'm joking, Steve, mate, if you're listening, respect. <laughs> but no, it's good. Yeah, when that slip happened, though, you're thinking rising but in the end I think that slip maybe helped the flight yeah. of the ball maybe it changed where he was going and like, well. like I said earlier just a bit of good fortune there yeah you know I think everything about Wednesday was good fortune but sometimes you have that why Why can't mm. we have that you know sometimes you go to games and we play really really well and come away with nothing yes yeah, yeah. so why That's can't we have, numerous a, times. have a bit of have a bit of good fortune and at the but same time go our way and it's if it's going to go our way yeah. go away in them situations go our way in them situations where you know who gives a shit if we, if yeah, exactly. if we didn't have any and more at the same time, It's not like we got battered the old game either. We, we, did, no. we did all right. We did yeah. really all right. I thought we did. I was okay. quite proud, like pleased, well, and proud after all. But It was nervy at the end though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. But don't get me wrong, their, their, goal was, their second goal was... It's nervy because the good, fourth, fourth official bloke plucked seven minutes from nowhere. Absolutely, yeah, it was arsehole. Where did he get out yeah. from? <laughs> Absolutely nowhere. Don't understand that. But look, maybe because we were sitting here all tense and drunk and whatever else... <laughs> But, oh, wow. Uh, sorry, lads, I'm going to have a quick drink on this. The seven minutes um, was the longest seven minutes that we've had for a while. It felt yeah, like I half an hour. I think it was worse than that Swansea ten minutes, wasn't it? Whatever yeah, it, was. it, felt, it, it was, felt like half an hour. Terrible. But, um, you, you know, it, it was just that, that, that tenseness because we didn't want to concede again. Yeah. Would it have mattered, though, if we'd have conceded? Not in the end, I don't think. Not in the end. So, you know, but but at the time. I'll tell you one thing. You know, I'm the first one to say, right, lads, put your fucking phones in the middle. Don't look at your phones. Also, I get quite emotional about it, right? I'll be honest. I was sitting there doing a sneaky one. I was telling you not to look at your phones. I was sitting there going, no, I can't wait another minute and a half. Because obviously, iPhone is a bit crap, and it's a bit about a minute and a half behind, which, all right, it's understandable. But sitting there going, yeah, fucking, you know what I mean? (laughs) Next minute I saw, I was like, shit, it's a corner. And in a second, I was like, no, I can't watch, I can't watch. It's only the last five seconds until it got cleared. I quickly went, it's been cleared. And I went, no, nah, I'm not going to watch it now. I thought, you know, five, ten seconds left. Next minute, I was sitting on the screen, coming up a minute later. As soon as it got cleared, I was sitting there going, oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, you're right. <laughs> and I was like, well, you're right at the time. No, I'm fine, it's fine. Everyone else is stressed, not me now. So, it's good. Yeah, it was good. It was just it was a good. It was, and and, yeah. and for, some, for some Luton fans, they've never seen that before. No. You know, they've never been, you know, they, they weren't lucky enough to be at those other games where we we performed well in the last game of the season. And you probably won them. Me, me, for example, yeah. yeah. I've never experienced the, not, well. The elation of escaping anyway. last day. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. as good as winning, you know, it's good as winning sometimes, isn't it? Well, it was our last uh, our escape like that, a big escape. Now, that's probably my first time as a Luton fan experiencing that. Yeah. So I say, most it, people were the same age. So, well, you used to go a lot more as a kid than I did. Yeah, we got but, Main City, Derby, those ones. Come to yeah. my mind straight away. Yeah, they were a long time ago. You know, it's right? never boring, though, being a Luton fan, is it? What, in my... God, how am I? 10, 15 years of supporting Luton. Um, Jesus. We must have been in relegation battles, like six of them seasons, or five of them seasons, then promotion battles in the rest. I think we've had one boring mid-table finish when John still left. And then it's like, it's always yeah. interesting, it? And that's why it's so good being a well, Luton Paul Buckle would you well. Would you take a boring mid-table finish next season? Yes, yes. 100%. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Yeah. <sighs> Do you know what? Fuck it. Just get us, get us safe next season, really. Before Ranking we have a look at um, this whole season, we'll just, we'll just take a look back, talk about our favourite games and stuff. Um, Producer Jacobs, under, under the stats here, um, Luton 33% possession eight shots one on target we scored three goals yeah. who cares but you put eight shots on target in three games is that something to worry about no nope. not when you're gaining results who cares gives a flying cahoot yeah. says your answer producer Jacob no it's not something to worry about not, not now no nah, if I'm you're worrying worried. about eight shots on target now when we've just stayed up and we're five weeks no. away from a new season then uh the thing is, I'd be more worried. If, I'd be more worried if the fact that we had, you know, chances. Oh, sorry, we didn't have chances, but we've had a few chances. I'll say in the last couple of games, we've had at least, I say, two, two to three chances a game to score a goal. But I mean, apart from the pressing game, I can't think of any games we haven't really looked like scoring. 
it doesn't even matter how that's the thing, does it? No, it doesn't matter. And it, and and if they go in, then we probably create more chances because the opposition mm-hmm. then, you know, have to push on to try and get back. So yeah. as long as we look solid and tight at the back, I don't really care at the moment. It's one of them ones. Do you know what? Anything that happened last season. Foundations. Yeah, you're right. Anything that happened last season, we can call it that now. Yes. Um, yeah. Doesn't matter anymore, does it? We're 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 still in a good a good division, and by Christ, we deserve to be there. And it's a bonus as well for the club, financially as well. Staying everything, in everything it's about great. it is just a bonus. Yeah. Everything. Can't wait. And in that long away. So now we have a bit of time to reflect on the whole year. Obviously, this has been a season like no other with coronavirus and behind closed doors, mm-hmm. which is just, honestly, when you think back of the year, it's a bit surreal really, isn't it? But from a pure football perspective... We, we, it's a success isn't it the year's been a success oh massive success of course, yeah. everyone said you would take fourth from bottom we'd finish sixth yeah. from bottom and you look at it and it's hard to even look back and even moan anymore isn't it you don't need to moan you don't need to moan we're well, in the championship hey, nice, nice, and we're staying hey. in the championship look at yourself you, and we just want you know let's be fair we bounced through the division we was in you know league one to one season we won it no one expected us to go to that position straight away. And so anything to keep us in this division mm-hmm. is, is a result. And you're right, if we finish, if we just finished above on goal difference, it wouldn't have mattered. We, did, we need to stay in this division and build on it and then hope that when we build the new stadium, we build on that too. And skirt with the Premier League occasion. Yeah. But I think the Championship would be much more fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, oh, it's brilliant. Oh, God, carry on. <laughs> so good. So good. Okay, so maybe so maybe if I say it's hard to look back and moan or something, because we don't want to do that. But if we had to say, well, don't look at me, man. You saying that? I'm not. I'm not. I was going to say because you fucking, I don't moan as much <laughs> as much as you do, mate. That's what I'm saying. Okay, well, but I want I, we need something to talk about, and I want to talk about, you know, maybe like fair criticism of the season because I feel like I look back and I've said at previous podcasts that I thought we'd go to more places and would get more away wins like that one 0 at Swansea. Mm-hmm. I thought we would do that more. And then you look at some of the mistakes we've made in games like Slugers in that first Middlesbrough game and Sluger away at Derby. Fulham. And yeah, just there's so it's many games that realistically, if we cut out them silly mistakes, we could have been easily safe this year, couldn't we? Like, do you think we were better than our league position was at the end of the season? Um, nine, is it 19th finishing the end? Yeah. Maybe not, maybe not, not 19th, but I think that's a fair reflection of where we finished. I'll be honest, I think it is, because we had work to do and we weren't, our home, we weren't with it half Our the home time. form was dreadful yeah, it to was. start with. I mean, I, the disappointing ones for me was when we went to Cardiff and, you know, mm. we, we played, Dominated, yeah, we played really well up else. there and we didn't get anything out of it. And then you suddenly start to worry about those situations mm. when you actually play really well and come away with a zero. That's when you start thinking, oh, this could be a tough season. Yeah. But it, it backs to the walls. Yeah, could we have finished higher? Yeah, because we could have got some of those not losing there and not losing last minute goals everywhere else. You know, maybe would have we would have been mid table and happy. Yeah, but I think I sorry. Overall, for me, I think you know where we did lose seven 0 to Brentford, five nil yeah. to Reading, horrendous, three uh, 0 to Reading away, and you know some of the games we really got absolutely taken apart. Right, I think yeah. those games there proved that we were probably weren't. Maybe shouldn't have been better off than where we finished, but we were too good for relegation. I always said this. I always said this. We were too good for too good for but relegation. We had a good run in. But we yeah. had a good. The, the run in was just the making of the season, really. What do you mean by that? I mean, well, I mean by the the last the, all the games behind closed doors. Oh, you mean how we performed? How we performed? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And maybe that break and the change of the manager w- was the key. Yeah, but I think look, in, in the end, even if we'd gone, I think if we'd gone down. I certainly would have looked at it and gone, I think it's a bit unfortunate there. I think, we, you know, look at like, like I said, look at your results, but in the end, it doesn't really matter. But I would have said straight away, we were a lot better than going down, which we were in the end. And we made to 19th position. Now, for me, that's that's where that's I pre- I expected us to pre finish a pre a place above, two places above. So I'm happy with that. Really happy. I'm actually, in fact, I'm over the fucking moon. Incredible. A lot of the a lot of the existing championship clubs would have said, "Oh, here comes Little Luton. Yeah, yeah they're going to go course. straight back down." You know, well, they're not, got, they weren't yeah. expecting us to stay. And you get so, some idiots on Twitter saying, "Oh, yeah, like teams like Luton, Barnsley, like they deserve yeah. to go down." Cause Didn't crap. Mowbray say that after last Wednesday we should be again something about beating Luton again? I swear I read that online. Yeah, that's yeah because he also thinks that Blackburn are such a big club still, which clearly yeah. they're not. It's going to get fucking fans either. But yeah, 
Obviously not at the moment, you know what I mean though. But how, yeah. how, many, how many points do they get off this season? Oh, Zero absolutely one. fuck all. There we go. So if you if you look back over the whole the whole season, what is your let's say like okay, let's start with your main fa- your favourite game of the year. Like the one for you that you look back on and, and like when people talk about the championship of two thousand and nineteen to twenty and maybe you've got grandchildren in the future and they're like granddad, tell me tell me about God. that coronavirus season when Luton stayed up miraculously on the last day what's the one game you're going to remember what? I'm gonna still go, I'm going to go back to it I said this before I know it's like people go oh yeah you're just saying it because obviously we just played them but Blackburn away for me and we won 2-1 there I think maybe was it our first away victory of the season was it Um, one after Barnsley weren't it I was after Barnsley yeah, was it? well there so. you go I mean I've drunk a lot since then and slept but um, for me for me that Blackburn away game because just for me I feel like it was complete Oh, we didn't we didn't run or dominate the game as such, but we did the job that we had to do. We looked we looked tight at the back, and I just remember I just remember being there. Obviously, it was a good away day anyway. But I, for me, that's the one that stands out. It's Blackburn away. But I'm, I can sit there and talk about other games and whatnot. Do you know what? Even Fulham away, right? We didn't get a result there, but we competed with them. I quite enjoyed Fulham away. Yeah, actually, we competed that. with them. I quite enjoyed that. Um, I thought we was unlucky. Yeah. To be fair. For a team that's worth what, yeah. 50, 60 million pounds or whatever back in the day, like yeah. back then. Actually, it was a good day as well, though. It was a good yeah, day. Out. As, as, yeah. as we was out, it was yeah. a good day. So I think you choose you choose some games because of different reasons. That one for me would have been because we had a smashing mm-hmm. day out. I mean, early start. And we, yeah, like I said, yeah. And we competed as well. Yeah, we, and, I mean, and we, we could have we could have got back in. You think, right, a neutral fan, sorry, guys, a neutral fan will look at us and go, oh, yeah, you're playing like Fulham tonight. <laughs> you know, your yeah. neutral fan will look at us and go, well, Fulham are going to fucking smash a shot out of them. And we'll, we're turning up thinking, we can cut the car as well. It's a Nick something here. Fingers of that game we as nearly, well. We nearly did. We gifted it. them the first goal. Yeah, this is it, yeah. yeah. And that's what I said earlier. Like, there's so many games you look back on and think, if we just cut them errors, could we have nicked a two at Fulham that night, you know? But no, well, true, for you then, it's you're, difficult you're for me. Out. It's really difficult for me. I can't. I can't pick one. Really, I think for me, the for me, Leeds game away stands out for me. I think that's a good result. I think it was a really great performance, a really good goal, and a really back to the back to the wall performance for the the defence. So for me, I could pick that one. Mm-hmm. But there are so many games that. I've enjoyed and so many I've hated this season. You know the Reddings and, oh, and yeah, things like that. Yeah. So yeah. one for me that stood out. And like I'm, I'm sure everyone will agree with it. But like the Middlesbrough first game of the season, right? Oh, yeah. The hype when that fixture list come out, and you see Luton v Middlesbrough, and like Crazy. the reality hits of, wow, we are back in the big time. We're playing Middlesbrough. They were in the Prem like two years ago, two seasons ago, and they were tipped heavily for promotion at the start of the season. Yeah. That's why it was put on TV on a Friday night, and I wasn't even at that game. I watched it on the TV, and I just remember. Like the whole day, the buzz and the excitement, Luton are back in the championship with the first game on the TV. Oh, yeah. We are kicking off the football league again. Yeah. So now you say it like that, I it totally is. agree with you. And then yeah. I remember, like on the TV, we, me, me and Steve were sat there at seven watching all the build up, and then you see the new camera angle, you see Luton's new rectangle goal, you see all the new LED, and you're just thinking, wow, like, I'm so excited. This and then. Sonny Bradley hits that volley into that top corner, Ooh, mate. And boy. me and Steve, we're in Cornwall in a little pub in St. Ives. We go mad. It's full and it's just me and Steve going mad. And I just think that day was topped off by Colin's equaliser. And for me, I, I think that's just one you'll never forget. Say, it did... was topped off by my drunk phone call after to you lot. Yes. No, that was a steamer on the way home. But yeah. <laughs> All right, let's. I've seen enough. And actually, we're staying up this season. <laughs> I was fucking right to sleep. And, and Kenilworth Road was... Absolutely buzzing. Rocking, it was yeah. rocking, and, was. and it's how we love that when it's there, and it's and it's it really felt different, day. didn't it? It's felt, it felt was amazing, amazing. Yeah, no, for me that's just one. I just think I'll always look back on and just be mm-hmm. like, wish it was just there. the excitement. Not even wish I was there <laughs> yeah. because where I was at the time was an unreal. Was shit compared to Kenneth Ray. No, 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 but <laughs> no, yeah, just for me, the standout. I'll be interesting. We'll, we'll get a tweet out on Twitter. Anyway, can I say another thing as What's well? What's your favourite game of the season? That, that leads at home games. game as well. You know, obviously, like I said, like we competed against some of the bigger team, yeah. bigger boys in the chat. Yeah. Like I said, I know we lost at Fulham and people are like, oh, well, Fulham, we lost, but we compete, we scored two goals. How many teams have scored two goals at Craven Cottage this season? I look at things like that, right? Okay, we I think might the whole beat 3-0. <laughs> yeah, but how many teams, I'm saying, like, how many percentage of teams? 
And also Leeds at home game as well. I felt we were very unlucky. I'm not saying Leeds weren't the better side, but for me, there was a foul in the build-up to their second goal, whatever it was. I think Collins had a goal disallowed, which was clearly onside. We keep going back to yeah. things like that. But I think things That's like that... That's Pearson, wasn't it? Was it? Mm. Well, whoever it was, I like I said. But, um, oh, I'll drink a few, few drinks. Yeah. Mate. But uh, like this, I said, this, we competed this. with the big boys. And that, for me, stands out because when times were tested... We showed up and we, we give it a fucking good go as well. There's a, and you can be proud of that. You need to be proud of that as well. There's a common theme with your memories, Bataro, and that is, Drink. I was drinking there. Yeah, I know. I was drinking there. <laughs> I'm not drinking now. I can't even they should, You should that. be asking the question, where was your favourite <laughs> pint at the game? Yeah. Favourite pint? Well, that's a good one, actually. Ooh, hang on a minute. Come back to me after that, so I'll think about that one. Okay. Favourite pint? Mm. All right, if we've done the best moment, I feel it's only fair we do look back and maybe pick a moment that we kind of wish we could just forget. Sluger against Fulham in the frill. Bang, off straight away. Is that the one that stands yeah, out for you this season? Yeah, all the time it gets me. You know when we was at home, 94th or 95th minute, I think it yeah. was. Yeah. Like Boxing I said again, day. I was drinking, so. <laughs> but no. Um, Not 7-0? Nah, <sighs> no, nah, I forgot about that. It's literally about 10 minutes after the second half, I remember 5 nil down or 6 nil down, I forgot yeah, about that. You know, to, but, go in, um, to go into a half time, 5-0 yeah. behind. I think horrendous. though, with that Fulham one, it's they were am, like, ramping up that pressure in that last yeah, few minutes of injury time and he just we fell off, yeah, he was coming. But did we not look tight though? We, we looked pretty tight at the back. All right, we made run our luck a few times, Sluga made some good saves. I was sit, I just remember the time, because all I remember sitting there going, is right, I was like, oh, fucking Sluga, what a, what a game he's had today. If he's going to do things like that, he's going to keep us up this season. And next minute, he just fucking spilt the ball straight to, I think it was hey. Bobby Reid or whatever. Yeah. Yep. Don't get it wrong, okay, he, he's probably made up for it now, but... He's definitely made up for yeah. now, not probably, yeah. definitely. Like He's I made said, some great yeah. saves. But like I said, but for me, it was that mistake. And there were them three points, them two points that we lost that, that day, for me, I looked back and I went, I kept saying to everyone, I even said to you boys, you know, but I said, they're going to cost it in the season. That's what I thought. If we're going to go down, they're the two points they're going to cost us. And I still felt like that coming into the last two games of the season. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we've done it, so it gives a flying fuck. <laughs> so if we have a quick... Uh... Queek. So queek. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's in the outtake. That's staying in. That's not an outtake. That's in the outtake, outtake video. If queek. we have a quick, a quick, queek. a quick look up to next season, it's staying in because I can't be asked stuff and I edit it. Um, quick look to next season then. Is there a game that we could potentially, well, not potentially, that we will be playing next season? that you're excited for. Weekly, I'd like to say, what for the way? <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> Fucking, come on boys, let's get one for the way, come on. How fantastic, first game. how fantastic was that? <laughs> I mean, if, if you're going to round off a season, finishing uh, above the relegation zone, and then watch you, that yeah. shower of shite from down the road <laughs> come down. Um, I cannot wait to find out when that fixture is, and I'm yeah. sure that everybody who listens and watches this is at exactly the same point. It's been too long. It's yeah. been too long. And again, a lot of people who have been supporting us have never seen it. That's what I was going to say. So for Batari, you've never been in a Luke Moffat game? No, never. So for someone who's <laughs> listening or watching this right now who have never experienced a Luton v Watford, I was only 10 or 11 when we played Watford. Did you get What's it like? What's it we like? We went up to to Vicarage Road, and uh, yeah, it's it's just the most amazing. It's a really, really sometimes vicious, sometimes tense. It's exciting, but it's a game you cannot lose. You have to win it. Oh, stop it, Dave! And if you exciting. win that game, if you win that game, you've never cheered a game mm. a win better than that. If you get defeated, it is the worst feeling ever. When the first, from the moment you get in that stadium and you're shouting and you're, you're, you're shouting at the opposition fans and they, they don't shout much because they're rubbish. <laughs> but, you know, you can feel the atmosphere. You could cut it with a knife. It's fantastic. It's electric. Excellent. It's everything. And then it could go tits up in five seconds. And then it'll pick itself up again. It's, you cannot, you cannot, if you've never experienced it, it you? until you've done it, you can't write it down. It's brilliant. I'm getting nervous thinking of it. Listening to that just you know makes what? me feel a bit like, oh my God. I was so inspirational. I was sitting there going, the me nerves. Me. Do you know what? You go, I'm, this is the most nervous game you'll ever go to. You know, I've been to cup finals. I've been to these last games. But in the league, this is the game you cannot afford to lose. You cannot lose it. And it means, I generally think it means more to us than it does to them. Mm. I don't give a shit 
we're, we, I think the head-to-head is for us is better than them. So I'm just thinking, I cannot wait to do it. I cannot wait to go to their place. And and I, I cannot, cannot wait to, wait to be home. You know, um, it's electric. Get your tickets. Get them now if you haven't got them. Because you now. haven't got a season ticket, you're not getting in. Yeah. Sorry, mate. That's the one thing I was going to say, is let's just hope <laughs> that these fixtures maybe come at a time where fans are allowed back in the stadium. Do you know what, though? Even if you're not in the stadium, that'll be broadcast. Oh, oh yeah. And, and you'll find the... somewhere where you're in a group and it'll be the same. Hopefully it's not because it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're there or not. You you'll still feel it. You'll still feel all those emotions, and the absolute joy of Luton winning that game will be fantastic. I'm actually well excited after that. Dave, honestly, keep speaking because I'm so excited right now. Uh, you'll be mullered by the time we get to the ground, Batara. Yes. You'll be mullered. I love it. I can't wait. And, and what an unbelievable good. thing to happen today. Oh, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> It's going to be good. Can I just say one thing, Rach? I'm not even going to say it, but one thing about Watford today. <laughs> <laughs> you shit. Oh. Yeah, what's that? Oh, you Do you know what? Yeah, we are, mate. If we go yeah. down next season, Watford fan will come find that oh, clip. Oh, I don't that care, mate. That's played, fine. But... Yeah, but they're going down this, this season, so we don't care. Fuck next season, that's them. Well, either way, it's going to be another insane year. Let's just hope COVID can slowly start to disappear and we can get to some football games. I think everyone... Everyone will be buzzing. Let's um, get into some Instagram questions for the last seven minutes of today's podcast. So Morgan says, what are your expectations for next year? Are we looking maybe just to finish fourth from bottom again? Can we go a bit better this I, season? I, I want us to be minimum more mid-table. More comfortable. At least, yeah, just comfortable. comfortable. Let's not comfortable, leave it. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I've had enough heart attacks for the last season. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I, yeah, I, I could do year. with just one of those seasons where it just goes, all right, we're safe. We've got six games to go. Mm, we're done. That'd be nice. And it? then push on. However... If it's lucky enough that we can push the other end of the table, I'll take it. Thanks very much. You say that, but you could say a team in 12th this season with six games to go wasn't safe. Well, it's I been that tight this year, yeah, isn't I it? Understand the only that. teams that were safe well, six to go. Like, two games to go, we've got like a four point or five point cushion, yeah. and you know you only need a point away for two games. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. Something like that, because I'll tell you what, I know we're all the same here. Every single Luton fan, like, like we say, they're listening out there. But we cannot deal with that every single season. If we were going to stay up, every season don't get wrong we'll take that staying up like that but we don't want to do it because that's not good for anyone's heart it's not good for their mental state either and it's fucking quite frankly disgusting for the health so please let's just crack on and let's get it done but how would you feel if we was we was challenging for playoffs though is that even a question? Yeah, it's a question. How would I feel? Playoffs? How would you feel? It would be unreal, wouldn't it? Yeah, of course it would be unreal. Well, 100% what do you mean, is it? not going to happen. Well, I, we, wait, got, hey, wait, yeah. we might go back in the podcast yeah. and pull that yeah, one out. I was going to say, yeah. talk the quotes, mate, you said, and people saying, no, I fucking, you know, people listening, right? You come back and say feel that. Feel free to, admit that. to clip that yes. in a year's time if we finish sixth in the championship. No, I said challenging for the playoffs. I didn't say yeah. in the playoffs. Ah, if we're challenging for the playoffs in eight months' time, Clip it. Tweet yeah. me all you would like. And what are you gonna do? Shave your head if we're in the playoffs. <laughs> don't, don't look at me in there, don't do nothing with my hair. Oh you can do it, I'm not. Nah mate, that. this is staying, this is my strength. Do you know I'd like to see more of next season though? I'd like us like I said earlier, I just want us to go to more places and just you know, nick a one nil, like a proper nice one nil yeah. away win. Even if you don't deserve it, who cares? Let's go just what for next it. season. One nil, eighty eighth minute. James Collins, boom, head up. Yeah. Yeah, do you know what? Oh, I probably wouldn't get out of the stadium. <laughs> you have to call. No, 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 no. For definite. You should chuck about a no, I can't get it. It's happened before though when we've been up there and getting those last minute goals. Uh, I can think back a long time ago, Kirk Stevens getting one. I think it was Boxing Day. Someone will correct me if that's wrong. Um, and I just remember there being with my father and, and we're walking up the back of the terrace because he wanted to get out quick. Mm-hmm. And we score a last minute goal. Oh, it's so amazing. Yeah, that's why, they, that's why you never leave early, people. No, we didn't leave early. We just oh, positioned right, so. ourselves differently. Oh, right. But no, even. But yeah. It's, it's going to be good. Charlie did ask about how do you feel about playing Watford next season. I think we've answered that. James says, on the scale of 1 to 10, how excited is Bataro for his tattoo? Hmm. Excited or fuck this? <laughs> um, I think on a scale of 1 to 10, it's about 3. But yeah, I'm more excited about it. For the it. rest of us, I think it's 12. Do you know what it is? All the way up to the build up of the game, I'm sitting there going, yeah, 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 we're, yeah I'm fucking more now to get it. Yeah, cause fuck it, I don't care. I'd rather start and get a tattoo. Now I'm thinking, why the fuck did I say that? Are you going to do, you gonna do it, right? Are you going to do it? I have, you should I've have had your hair cut. It would have been a nice season. No way. Your hair I'd, rather, I'd rather get a tattoo of that, you know, Nathan Jones on my chest than my hair cut. 
Like can, said, can you have the words NJ is my hero underneath it? No, that was not a part of the uh, negotiations, so absolutely not. But what I will do is, obviously, it will happen, but you know, just in due course, and when uh, it is, uh, you know, going to happen, we'll let you know. But um, it's not really a rush thing, it has to be thought out and it has to be properly yeah. done. So, on that scale, where are you? What excitement? Yeah, one to ten. I'm not, I'll put it zero, mate. <laughs> I don't want to get it done, but I've said it now, so I've got to do it. But I'm not excited about it. Fuck it. But like I said, boys, look, we take it. We would take that. I would take, do you know what? I get my whole face inked. It means Luton, you know, pretty good. Actually, I'm not going to say Don't that. say no, it. No, You're no, still making promises that no, you're going to ruin no, your no, life. No, no, that's fine. Um, <laughs> no, no, so we just answered yeah. Max's question. He said, where does Batara get his toe? Um, let's go for Flix. He says, now the season is over. Who is your player of the season? Mm. It is a good question, isn't it? It is a it's, tough one. There's so many players you could probably pick, and to me... Even Carter Vickers has got to be up there, even though he's played, played half a season, but he's been key. Been class, isn't he? I think he's probably been mm. our most key player. For me, I think Carter Vickers, but... You'd have him back, wouldn't you? <sighs> Definitely. Oh, I'd love to have him back, Dave. Even, even before well, even before he played for us, I don't know what quality he was. You, mm. But, you know, it's, it's one of them ones, isn't it? It's tough to get him like, a player like that, that quality back. It's a bit expensive as it's well. It's tough to think about player of the season though, because I'm trying to think back to every game of someone who's just like always like a standout player Collins in the season. Well. And I'm thinking like I'm, I'm kind of thinking Collins. I'm kind of thinking maybe a centre half, maybe Bradley. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Bradley, I can't pick Bradley, mate. Fucking boy, mate. Pelly, legend. He's in my player of the season. <laughs> That's it, not. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're talking to Carl Vickers. Slane says if we go in for another loan for him, would would it be accepted? Do you reckon? Do you reckon we could get him on loan again? No. Nah. Why? Because I think that Tottenham are looking to sell him. By what I mean, reading about him, they keep, they've released a statement now, I'm pretty sure, saying something along the lines of they want to sell him for £4 million and cash in. And we, are we going to actually saying that though? We could cash in and pay £4 million because he could be a difference for us next season. Eight, is it £8 million in can't TV rights or whatever? You can't see it. I can't see us paying that much, but you know, if, if he's available and we can take him, why wouldn't he come back? Because he can do that. Could he? How do you know? What, a bit like a Brit of Belonga that goes to Middlesbrough for like £20 million pounds rather than stay at Forest and not at Forest. If he just said he's a key player for us, then he could quite easily be a good first team for another team. Mate, he, he could easily play in a top six side for me. Yeah. Like I said before, saying. I always said this. Like I said, he was at Swansea a few years back, got Swan of the Year or whatever, but... He's young as well. You forget how young this guy, he's 22. Yeah, but maybe he likes... He's young. Maybe he likes the atmosphere at the club. Maybe he likes the manager. Maybe... This well, is a good step for him, it, and you, and you got again. You could refer that back to to Stacy when he came, and that sort of thing. Yeah. Look where he ended up. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, it hasn't worked out yeah. for him this season. But so why not come back? He might he might boost his career by coming here, well, and then, like, and rather than being just that extra player in the better team, the standout player in a slightly not so good team. Mm-hmm. So you could take the opposite. That uh, probably makes him a little bit more valuable. Yeah. And then we cash in, yeah, and they cash in, yeah. Well, either way. But then, like I said, play of the season though. You should we do a play of the season not on loan and a play of the season on loan. Yeah. yeah. So players play of the season on loan, Karen Carter Vickers. Sorted. Obviously, because he's technically not our player, but our player of the season, for me, I'd probably have to go with the people might go a bit like, oh, fuck's that. It's either out of Bradley or Collins. They're the two for me. Do you know what? I even throw Cornick in there if I have a third well, I, I, I wrote down Cornick earlier, maybe. Like, mate, it's Cornick. difficult because I, I just haven't Most sat there and gave it Cornick. Enough. I haven't Incredible. given it enough thought to answer that question. No. It's been good, though. It's been a great year. Mm-hmm. We are staying up. Yeah. Fucking it's boys. Give me a bit of hype time. Hype, man. I'm, 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 I'm always hyped. I'll be going. I'm first day back at uh, work tomorrow. I'll be going in there, mate. Fucking the is finally of back off furlough. Yeah, first day back tomorrow, boys. Yeah, yes. exciting. Um, thanks so much for listening. That's all we've got time for. We shall try and keep this going over the next five weeks before the football season carries on. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for listening. Yeah. Get us on socials at Owen Town. Keep up to date with Tara's tattoo over there. <laughs> oh, and yeah. we shall see you next week. And uh, we're staying up and we'll see you next season. What for you bastards? <laughs> <laughs>